Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to make and upload a YouTube channel banner using just your iPhone. So these are the two apps that I'm going to be mainly using for this tutorial and a web browser, obviously, to upload the banner. And you're also going to need this one photo that I have here in my photo library. It looks like this. And this is a template for your YouTube banner so that you know where to place your text and everything so that it won't be cut off on YouTube's site when you're viewing it on your channel. So I'll have a link in the description box below of a download where you can get this image if you can find it yourself. So yeah, I'll have a download link in the description box below for you to check out. But yeah, that's all you're going to be needing for this tutorial. Um, it's going to be a very simple banner that we're going to making in this tutorial just to give you guys the gist of how to go about it. And then you can obviously add your own spin and graphics and logos or whatever for your YouTube channel on your banner. Okay, so we're going to start off by going into the app studio here. This used to be called Over. Um, I did do a previous video on this where I used Over. This is just they changed their name and their logo. But yeah, this is the app that we're going to be using. Go in there and this is kind of the layout that you'll see. So you're going to click on the plus button here and go to image and import that image that I just showed you guys. That's a template for your YouTube banner. So it's going to look something like this and you just click on the correction mark here and then it's going to take you into the editor. So this is what we have to work with. This is our template. So what we want to do now is add a background. So this is going to be the background for your YouTube banner. You can choose a photo, you choose a blank background or whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to graphic here and then I'm going to go to basic shapes and choose a square. So that's going to be this one here. And I'm just going to make it the size of my banner. And I'm just going to make a plain color. So I'm not going to use an image for my background. I'm just going to make it a plain color. But like I said, you can do whatever you feel like doing for your background, for your banner. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and add some text. So the reason that I put up this app as an option, Fonto, is for you guys who have your own type of fonts that you want to use. Because Studio, this app does not have that much that many font options so if i type out my channel's name now so kayla's world and say i'm gonna go with this font here bison uh, they have some different variations of each um, font um, as you can see here then i can also just go ahead and look at all the other fonts that they have here but like i said there are not a lot of different fonts that they have available so if there is a certain font that you want to use that is not on this app what i recommend you do is you go to fonto here and you can go ahead and add your text in fonto so what how you go about this is you go to this camera icon down here click on plain image choose one of these it doesn't matter which one and go to color down here and go to alpha, which is your opacity and bring it all the way down. So this is what it looks like when you have a PNG or a transparent image. Then you click on apply, click on the share button up here and click on use. So then we have this blank canvas in Fonto. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click add text, click anywhere, click on add text, type in your channel's name, and then you can go ahead and resize and everything, just position it so it's in the middle or whatnot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your text and go to font. And they have so many fonts to choose from on their app, but my main reason for recommending Fonto is because you can go to my fonts and you can install your own fonts into Fonto. Um, they have so many fonts that you can choose from already, but having the option to import your own fonts specifically catered to your maybe brand or whatever is something that's really nice. So here you can see all the fonts that I've imported in here. And you can see they have a button here that says how to install fonts and it just gives you all these steps you need to install your own fonts into Fonto so that you're not so limited towards fonts. And just a quick um, tip, when you are saving your image then, click on share and select save image as PNG. Don't say save image because the difference between save image and save image is PNG. So I'm going to click on save image here. And when I go to photos, you'll see it's just a white square because it didn't save it as a PNG, which has a transparent background. So it's just going to save it as a white background. So if I now say save image as PNG, You'll see in photos, there is my text um, with no background. So that is what we want. 
So it's up to you how you want to go about adding text. You can either just do it within the studio app and use the fonts that they have, or you can go into Fonto, do your thing, and then just import that image by clicking on image and choosing your font. So that is what you can do um, for text. But important step right now is what we're going to do. You can go into your labor layers panel here, which is this thing here. And you can see all your layers that you have. So just go to your background layer. And you want to bring your opacity, so this is section right here, down so that you can see this image at the back. Because you want to be able to locate, um, as you can see, it says here, your text and logo safe area, this section right here. So that makes sure that if you put your text or anything in here, it will be visible on all devices. Here you see it says desktop minimum and mobile. So then it just shows you that in this little block here, you can be certain that all your text is going to be visible on any device that might be viewing your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to put my text here. I'm going to make my text white. I'm going to bring it up a bit and then I'm going to add another piece of text. And then I'm just going to minimize that text a bit and put it right under that text. Like so. And what I'm going to do now, just to add a little something to my text um, or to my banner, just to make it look a bit more premium i'm gonna go ahead and take the o out of world here gonna make four spaces and i'm gonna import an image that i want on my um, banner just to make it more brandish so i'm just gonna add an image here that i made i just created this on um, photoshop a while back so I'm just gonna put that in the place of world and just to make sure it's correctly positioned i'm just gonna go to the nudge section which just means you can clearly position it uh, make little minute moves so it looks like it's in the right section like that okay so once you've added all your things make sure it's in the text and logo safe area you can now go ahead and bring your opacity of your background up again so i'm just going to go to opacity and bring it all the way up so this is what my banner now looks like um, as you can see it looks pretty like small because of the text being in this text and logo safe area so it looks very small but it's going to look better once you upload it so that's how you go about creating your banner just to make sure everything's in the right place and nothing's going to be cut off on your youtube channel use that background the um, template that i have a download link for you guys for um, add your text and everything in that safe area and then you can go ahead and um, bring back the opacity for your background and it's really as easy as that so what we're going to do now is we're just going to save this image to our camera roll there are obviously other apps that you can also use to do this studio is just one that i recommend for you guys who have no idea what um, to do but you can basically use these steps in whatever editing app you prefer i just prefer studio now let's upload that banner to your youtube channel so what you're going to need is just any web browser. I prefer Safari, which is the default on iPhone, but you can use whichever one you want. So I'm going to go into Safari and then we're going to go to a website called studio.youtube.com. So that is YouTube Studio. Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but um, yeah, YouTube Studio is where you can go ahead and manage a bunch of things for a YouTube channel. Just go to that. So studio.youtube.com. If you haven't been to this website, it might ask you to sign into your channel. So just sign in with the YouTube, your YouTube channel, Gmail or whatever you have. Um, so just sign into your account. It also might bring up this pop up, which tells you to try out the YouTube Studio app. If you don't have the YouTube Studio app, um, it's a great app. But yeah, you're not going to be able to do this on that app. So just select continue with Studio or continue to Studio on this here. Click on that. And then it's going to take you to your YouTube channel. So this might look very overwhelming if you haven't been to this website yet. But don't worry about anything else. Just go to this section here, which looks like a want tool. So just click on that. So then it's going to take you to the channel customization page. Um, this is just where you can edit a bunch of things. Um, edit which playlists are featured on your channel, which video pops up when someone comes to your channel for the first time, things like that. But you want to go to the branding section here. So click on branding. And here you can see you have a bunch of things you can change. So you can change your picture for your channel, your banner image, and then your video watermark. So obviously we're going to go to banner image. Um, for me, it says change, but for you, it might just say upload or something, um, depending on if you've ever added a banner to your channel or not. So what you'll do, you just click on whatever option it tells you. 
So like I said, I'm going to go with change. And then you're just going to say photo library. Choose the image that's in your photo library to upload. Then just say choose again. And here it's going to tell you how it's going to be viewed on different devices. So viewable on all devices, viewable on desktop, and viewable on TV. So as you can see, ours is in the right place since you can see it on all devices. And then click on done. And then once you're done with that, you can click on publish and then it will be published to your YouTube channel. So then you have your banner on your channel. It might not show up immediately, maybe give it a while if it doesn't show up immediately. Otherwise, then just try re-uploading your image. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you go about adding a banner to your YouTube channel. It's really easy. I hope this video helped you guys out and you got some ideas for creating your banners or just up how to upload them. Um, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other sig or questions you have for me about this. If you have something that you're struggling with, definitely leave me know in the comments down below. Subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other YouTube tips and tricks related videos. So that's other like editing tutorials or things like this. And click on the video to see my one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.